In this video, we're going to talk about this integral right here. Now this integral is really similar to the integral of one over x dx. The only difference is that in the numerator, it's just any constant. And in the denominator, instead of this being an x, it's just replaced with any linear equation. That's all it is. So then an example of an integral in this form would be something that looks like this. For instance, if we had, let's say, 3 over x plus 2. Or if we had 2 over 5x plus 7. Something in that general form is all this integral is. So then how do we actually evaluate this integral? What we should do first is we should first move the constant in the numerator out to the outside of the integral. So let's do that first. So now all we got to do is we just have to deal with what we have in the denominator. So what should we do with this stuff? Well, it turns out that we can actually use u substitution. We can set u equal to what we have in the denominator, and it turns out everything's actually going to work out really well for us if we do that. Because if we do that, so we set u equal to what we have in the denominator, which means du is just going to be the derivative of what we have here with respect to x, which is just going to be b. And of course, we have to include the dx. So we need to make sure we get this integral in terms of u. We know we're substituting what we have in the denominator with u. So then what's the dx going to become? Well, if we solve for dx, we see that this is just going to be du over b. So we're going to be replacing the dx with du over b. Right. And we can move the b to the outside of the integral. It turns out that this is the integral we're evaluating now after performing the u substitution. And this is the integral that we were talking about at the beginning of this video, right? The integral of 1 over x dx. And we know that this integral is just the natural log of the absolute value of u. And so this is really what we get when we evaluate this integral. All we have to do is substitute what we have for u back when we did the u substitution. That means that our final answer is this. This would be the integral of something in this form, where we have a numerator or where we have a constant in the numerator and a linear equation in the denominator. And this is actually really useful because many times you're going to encounter integrals in this form, right? Rather than the integral of 1 over x, some modification of that integral, right? For instance, many times you might encounter the integral of 1 over x plus 1 or the integral of, we're going to do this example. Let's just say the integral of 3 over 5x plus 7. As an example, if we were to actually evaluate these two integrals, starting with this one actually, really notice how all we're doing here is we're doing a over b, right? The numerator divided by the coefficient in front of the x which in this case, a over b, in this case, it's 3 over 5. So really, it's just 3 over 5 times the natural log of what we have in the denominator, right? Which is our 5x plus 7 right here. And that's really all it is, right? And just like for this one, if you were to use that same idea, turns out it's just going to be that right? And this is the whole idea. Many times we're going to encounter integrals in this form, and so I think it's a really important idea to know what this is and to be able to understand where it comes from, and this is pretty much it.